Welcome to Electron Line. In this new series, we're going to talk about logarithmic and ex exponential equations in one. With other words, we're going to combine the two and end up with some interesting problems. But first, let's take a look at some examples of how to solve exponential equations. So let's say we have 3x, 3 to the x power equals 5, or we have 2 to the x minus 1 equals 7. How do we solve something like that? How do we solve for x in each case? Well, the best thing to do is to take either the natural log or the log of both sides. So let's do it both ways. Here on the left side, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So if we take the natural log of 3 to the x, that should equal to the natural log of 5. Since we do the same thing to both sides of the equation, nothing really changes. Now using the, the rules of logarithms, I can take the exponent here and move it in front so I can write x times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 5. And then if I divide both sides by the natural log of 5, I get x is equal to the natural log of 5 divided by the natural log of 3. Then you grab your calculator and you work that out. And where did my calculator go? Right here, it was hiding. So we have the natural log of 5 divided by the natural log of 3 and we get 1.465. So it would be 1.465. And of course, that's approximate because it doesn't have a definite answer. It goes, the decimal goes on forever, but that's good enough for three decimal places. So x is approximately 1.465. All right, now we're going to do that problem, but instead of using natural log, we'll use the log base 10. But again, the answer would be the, the methodology is exactly the same. We take the log of both sides. So the log of 2 to the x minus 1 is equal to the log of 7. And again, the exponent can be moved in front, so we can write x minus 1 times the log of 2 is equal to the log of 7. Then we can divide both sides by the log of 2, so we get x minus 1 is equal to the log of 7 divided by the log of 2. And then we can add 1 to both sides, so x therefore is equal to the log of 7 divided by the log of 2 plus 1, and then you grab your calculator. So you take 7, take the log of that, divided by 2, take the log of that, and then uh, we get x is equal to 2.807 plus 1. Again, that's approximate, and so therefore x is equal to 3.807, and approximately so to three decimal places. And so that's how we use that concept of uh, exponential functions and logarithmic functions, we can go from one to the other. If we take the log of both sides, we can isolate the x. If we take the log of both sides here, we can isolate the x minus one. And that's how that's done.